Hello, everybody. I call this November 15th, 2022 zoning meeting of the Bernalillo County Board of Commissioners to order. We will have a moment of silence followed by the Pledge of Allegiance led by myself. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Um, Deputy County Manager Enrico Grady or Director Lucas Tafoya, are there any changes to the agenda? Madam Chair, this is Lucas Tafoya with the Planning Development Services Department. Uh, there are no changes to the agenda today. Thank you, Director Tafoya. Moving on to item number three, approval of minutes. I approve to. I move to approve the September thirteenth, twenty twenty two zoning meeting minutes. Can I have a second? Second. Thank you, um, Madam Clerk. Please roll call the vote. All right, uh, Commissioner Piscogi. Aye. Uh, Commissioner Quesada. Aye. Commissioner O'Malley. Yes. Uh, Vice Chair Benson. Aye. Madam Chair Barboa. Aye. Great, moving on to item number four. We'll now proceed with the public hearing items and hearing procedures. Madam Chair, please swear in all those presenting today and issue a resolution number. Madam Chair, for the record, I don't have anyone signed up for the public hearing item. So I think we can proceed with um, Deputy Clerk to issue the number and then we can go into staff presentation. Thank you. Deputy Clerk, please issue numbers. Um, AR 2022-121. Thank you. Director Lucas Tafoya, please describe the public hearing item to be considered and state the staff recommendations for the item. Madam Chair, we have a, an amendment to the Bernalillo County International Sunport Station Area Sector Development Plan. Uh, staff is recommending approval of this. The Planning Commission has also uh, heard this and recommended approval as well. Um, Elvira Lopez is here to present this item. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Madam Chair and Commissioners. For the record, uh, my name is Elvira Lopez. I'm a program planner with Bernalillo County Planning and Development Services. Uh, this item is uh, regarding case number SPR 2022-0003. Uh, the County Planning Department is putting forward this request for approval of an amendment to the Bernalillo County International Sunport Station Area Sector Devel Development Plan. Uh, to modify the plan boundary. And I have a copy of the plan here. It was approved in 2009 by the Board of County Commissioners. And I do have a map that I would like to share if we can switch over to the screen. Yes, thank you. Okay, here before you, I have a um, map showing the boundaries of the sector plan boundary, and that would be the red outline. Uh, this plan is also referred to as the TOD, or Transit Oriented uh, Development Plan. The vision of the plan is to uh, promote mixed land uses, including uh, high density residential, to build upon the existing rail runner, Bernalillo County Rail Runner Station, located at the northeast corner. And I believe my mouse is not working, uh, but it's located at the northeast corner of 2nd and Rio Bravo. Uh, there is an existing rail runner, and this plan was actually developed uh, in, in concordance 
with the establishment of that rail runner station. And the idea is to promote transit-oriented development. As you can see from the zoning map, uh, the majority of land in this sector plan is zoned M2, including the portion that we're here to discuss, which is to expand the uh, plan boundary to include the cross-hatched area to the southeast. Uh, can you all see that? And it is labeled amendment area to be included. Um, this area was left out of the plan originally, uh, and the planning department is requesting that that 27-acre uh, portion uh, known as Track 3A, MRGCD, Map 49, uh, be included in the plan boundaries. Um, and I, as I said, the, the existing zoning is M2. The purpose of this request would be to expand the opportunities for property, the property owner of that uh, portion to opt in to the plan uh, zoning. So the sector plan does have a uh, unique zoning. It's the SDMVTOD, which is consistent with a transit-oriented development. It would allow for mixed uses, including higher density residential, which would not currently be allowed in the M2 zone. And so uh, the expansion of the boundary would not automatically change the zoning. It would provide an opportunity for the property owner to change the zoning. And that property owner currently is the Albuquerque Bernalillo County Water Authority. And we do have a letter of support. And they are aware of this uh, request that the planning department is putting forward. And, and they are in support of that. And lastly, this case was heard by the County Planning Commission on October 5th. And they did uh, recommend approval, as Lucas uh, mentioned. And with that, I do stand for questions. Madam Chair? Yes, Commissioner O'Malley. Um, do you have a satellite image of this? I was just curious as to what is there. I do. I can bring it up. Thank you. Yes, please. And that was, uh, I'm looking at attachment two from your informational packet. I'm gonna bring it up. It's part of our standard uh, reports. We do provide uh, satellite imagery. So this is a zone atlas page. I apologize, I might have to go to a more efficient file. Here we go. Zone Atlas page, and this is an aerial uh, with um, the zoning juxtaposed over uh, the plan boundary. And in this case, uh, if you can see, there's a lot going on. This is a zoning map along with the plan boundary. The plan boundary is in green, that thick green, and I've zoomed into the area of the subject area that is to be, we're requesting to include. Um, and so uh, the purple color is the M2 zoning. And so I will go to a more simple aerial. And the property is undeveloped. Uh, I have a question about the property that is immediately um, west. Is that being used as an agricultural, is it an agriculture use at this time? Uh, Chair, Madam Chair Barboa, Commissioner O'Malley, uh, to the west is the bosque. Oh, I'm turned around then. So here would okay, be- Okay, I'm sorry, the other side. The that east. One. Uh, I'm not aware that it's agricultural. I'm aware that it's undeveloped. Okay, because I can see the water authority because of the tanks there. Yes, and to the south is the Water Authority property, and they, the, as I mentioned, the current or owner of the subject area is the Water Authority. Okay, because I was wondering that line, is that an acequia that's going through there, the middle of the other side? This formation yeah. here? Yeah. I am not aware of an acequia running uh, adjacent. Uh, okay. Thank you. It is. Okay. Thank you. Any other um, comments or questions from commissioners? I'd like to move for approval. 
Okay, a motion to approve administrative resolution AR 2022-122. Um, I'll second that. Madam Clerk, please roll call. Commissioner Piscotti. Aye. Commissioner Quesada. Aye. Commissioner O'Malley. Yes. Vice Chair Benson. Aye. Madam Chair Barboa. Aye. And Madam Chair, just for the record, to clarify, the AR is 20... AR 2022-121? Yes, that's what I... That's Thank correct, you. 121. Thank you. Um, before we announce the next meeting and adjourn, I want to hand it over to Deputy County Manager Enrico Grady for an announcement. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Appreciate it. Um, I just wanted to make an announcement. I know most of you might have heard, but I wanted to officially just kind of make an announcement and express my gratitude. So Mr. Lucas DeFoya is retiring. He has been with Bernalillo County, I think, over 26, 27 years. Lucas started out with us in the Health Protection Department. Uh, he is well-known, continues to be well-known, somewhat legendary with the uh, environmental health community. He's helped us with all of our small businesses, restaurants, um, just maintaining public health. And several years ago, I asked him if he was interested in stepping up and taking my position as the planning director. And I was very, very happy that he did. And he did so much for us. And it was unforeseen that we would have COVID and all these other, fall, other items fall into place. But he just did an outstanding job. And I want to express my gratitude for all of his service. Uh, he and I have been working together for many years. And I just want to thank him. Uh, and uh, I think most anyone that's been working with him kind of uh, is aware of his level of integrity, consistency, and overall you know, mastery of uh, management. So with that, thank you for the opportunity. And Lucas, thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yes. Madam Chair. Madam Chair, I just wanted to say a few words. Um, I, I met uh, when I first got on the commission. I worked with um, Director Tafoya on a very complicated ordinance uh, that allowed for uh, home canning. And I think I was probably not the easiest person to work for because I was very committed to trying to get something done. It turns out actually that the state now allows the things that we are doing now. But uh, he, uh, Mr. Tafoy has always been so responsive and thoughtful, uh, really appreciate. He's got a lot of experience um, and he's done a stellar job for us at the county. And I want to add my thanks uh, to you, Madam Chair. Director Tafoy. Madam Chair. Yes, Commissioner Quesada. I also want to thank Lucas for uh, his commitment uh, to my district as well. Um, you know, Lucas was uh, vital to really pushing the illegal dumping uh, uh, stuff that we that we did, and he organized that for us, and he led it. And um, it's still something that you know we're going to be working to move forward. Uh, we're, we're pretty sad because we're losing him, but. Um, you know, we think that what he put in place and what he helped us establish uh, when it came to the illegal dumping partnership is something that we're going to work really hard to carry forward. And that, you know, his work on us looking at properties in the South Valley and really cleaning up um, these, um, you know, these properties that have been historically just been there really bringing down neighborhoods and, and really bringing down communities. Um, the work that he's done even within the last uh, couple of years has been uh, tremendous. And so from, from my constituents in District 2, we want to thank you, Lucas, for your dedication to Bernalillo County and definitely to our district. Um, we're going to miss you, man, and we want to wish you uh, the best of luck for your next endeavor because you're very young and I'm sure you have another endeavor coming up and we want you to have the same success as you had here in your next endeavor. Thank you so much. Madam Chair? Yes, Commissioner Piscotti. Thank you. I want to say a few words to Lucas Bafoya. Um, Lucas, you're a class act. It has been such an honor working with you. Um, you are so smart and responsive. I know that in the East Mountains, the, the problems in the East Mountains can be so diverse. And you have a way of just handling everything with grace and trying to find a way um, to work things out for people so that 
you know, people can have a good quality of life, good economic development, like all the good stuff. So um, it's just such an honor. I thank you from the bottom of my heart um, for myself as the commissioner of District 5 and also on behalf of my constituents. Um, you have just been such a gift to my district. Thank you. Madam Chair. Yes, Commissioner Benson. I want to pile on. Uh, Director Tafoya, uh, I echo those words completely. And I, I had the um, privilege of working with you uh, joining the commission during COVID, which was difficult uh, in terms of working with individuals and meeting with people. And um, you were one of the first people that I met with. And you were able to uh, navigate even COVID well in terms of meeting through uh, video conferencing. And, um, and everybody's talked about how many problems you've solved. There's so many diverse problems throughout the county, and, and you do it really well. You navigate everybody, and, and it's impossible to make everybody happy, but you come pretty darn close. Uh, trying to balance the regulations with real-life circumstances, individuals and businesses and community members and, and the government and, and your mastery over all the materials. It's obvious you've been around for a long time only because of the mastery. If I just look at you, it doesn't seem like it's possible you could be here 26 years. Um, but uh, I wish you the best. And it's been, a, it's been a pleasure to work with you. And I wish, uh, I, wish I had more years with you. But um, you're going you're gonna to do good stuff, I know. So I look forward to seeing what you do. Thank you, Commissioner Benson. And now, um, finally, I want to get the chance to, as well, um, thank you for your stellar years of service. I know in the two years that I've gotten to work with, you were one of the first people that um, just really helped me understand a lot about um, the county, about parts that I definitely didn't know about zoning and our tires and how we um, function and how you all keep us so um, ready. I want to say I thank you so much for always being accessible um, and for your such incredible work ethic. You are so smart and obviously a professional in your field. Um, you will be missed. And I just want to say congratulations and felicidades to whatever you have ahead and on a retirement at such a young, healthy, smart peak of your age. So um, excited for your future and thankful for your service. I hope we all get to celebrate you more and congratulations. Um, Next, moving on to, I don't know if you want to share some words, um, Director Tapoya, we welcome it. Oh, well, okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, this was a surprise. Thank you, Enrico and uh, commissioners uh, for your kind words. Uh, this has been uh, a great career. Bernalillo County has been, been really good to me and my family. Uh, I've, I've, it's been meaningful work and that's really what I, I wanted in a career is, is meaningful work where um, I, f I feel like we're improving and helping the community and, and, and um, making it healthier uh, for everybody and, and, and helping to realize your all's vision in, in that same vein. Um, and, and I couldn't do any of that without great staff and, and, and coworkers and everybody else in the county that it comes together and, and gets all this stuff done. Um, and so I've, I've been blessed, and, and I thank you for your kind words. And, and I don't know what's next for me, but we'll see. And, um, and I, pr I appreciate the opportunities that you all have given me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Congratulations. Joy ahead. Um, so announcement on item number five, uh, announcement of the next zoning meeting is Tuesday, February 20, 23rd, zoning meeting at 3 p.m. at Ken Sanchez Chambers. Um, if there is no other meeting, then this, no other business, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you.